Accusations audits. Ed tried a few accusations audits with his client in regards to the the um, the commission discussion. He proactively went after both expressed and unexpressed negative emotions and dynamics. Your conversations are replete with negative emotions on a regular basis. You know that going in when you you know, when you're talking to a buyer who has unrealistic expectations about what they're willing to pay for a property, or flip side, you've got a seller that's got unrealistic expectations about what to list the property at, and you're going to have to tell them information that they're not going to want to hear. You know what they're going to be thinking as you um, address those issues. So why not get out in front of them? Why not take care of them before they're even spoken. If you don't, you leave, a, there's a black hole vortex in their thinking. And if you leave negative emotions and dynamics bouncing around in their head, they're not gonna hear any logic that you might bring to the table because the, the, the amygdala is fired up and it, it obscures what's supposed to be taking place in the prefrontal cortex. So your, cha your challenge is deal with those negative emotions up front, get them out of their head, and probably the fear of loss is going to be the one that you need to address first and often throughout the course of, of the interaction. Can I ask you a question about that? Um, on this is D um, on accusation audits. Mm -hmm. When you say you probably think I don't know what I'm talking about, and all I want to do is make a lot of money, blah blah blah. Yeah. So you you throw your audits out there. How do you transition? to your point, because you can't say, you're not supposed to say, I don't want you to think that I don't know what I'm doing. You're supposed right. to say, you probably think, I don't know what I'm doing, right? Correct. You can't contradict it when you say, you probably think I don't know what I'm doing, but blah, 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 blah. How do you transition from that? All right, so great question. Um, let me talk about the butt first. Okay. The butt erases everything that came before. Yeah. Yeah. And so that is another way to deny the negative. To your actual question, how do you transition? They're going to tell you how to transition. Okay. When you are aggressive and go, um, go all in on your accusations audits, one of two things is going to happen. They're going to stop you and say, A, we weren't thinking those things, or B, let's move on. We've got, we've got other stuff to do. We've got other things to talk about. Either way, you're in a good spot because the conversation is now transitioning into where you want it to go anyway, and it's not your idea. Okay. It's their idea. So as you're throwing out your accusations audits, you're just waiting for them to stop you. Now, having said that, if they don't stop you, there may be a problem. <laughs> if, they, if you've gotten to the end of your list of accusations audits and they're still staring at you and they haven't responded, there's something else, you're missing something. And so your, your job then is just to label that dynamic. It seems like whatever you were thinking is a lot worse oh. than I anticipated. And that'll get them to flush out what else is it that they're, they're still concerned about. But the general sequencing is gonna be accusations audit. You're looking for feedback from them, um, but you, you may not get it. You, they may just, you may not get anything verbal from them, but that's not the purpose of the accusations audit. The accusations audit is just to, um, from the get-go, show them that you're not thinking about yourself. 
you're thinking about them, what they're going through, what they perceive, their perspective. And that there's no clearer way. When you point a negative light back at yourself like that, you know how much courage that takes? And what is that, what is that, how does that translate or how does that trans, how's that transmitted to the person with whom you're doing it? They're looking at you like you're a unicorn, like you are something out of the ordinary because who does that? And you are proactively, preemptively labeling things that they have not said. And it makes you look like a mind reader. How much more can you convince somebody that you are dialed into them to the nth degree than for you to start labeling things that they have not spoken yet? And so that's why we are so aggressive with our execution of the accusations audit at the beginning of the conversation because it sets the tone. It tells them right off the bat, this is not about me, this is about you. And so to transition out of it, you let them do it for you.